The eleventh chapter in Kuhn's The Structure of Scientific Revolutions is titled The Invisibility of Scientific Revolutions. In this chapter, Kuhn revisits the themes developed in earlier chapters. He explains that the celebrated scientific revolutions that he uses as examples are selected solely that the reader is already familiar with them. Kuhn suggests in this chapter that revolutions are invisible because of historical revisionism in science textbooks. His argument run runs along the following lines. Firstly, assuming that scientists and lay people use textbooks as the primary source of learning about a scientific field, then the presentation of the field within the textbooks is of central importance. Secondly, Kuhn suggests that there is a central assumption that science is independent of the historical context. Note that he himself does not hold this view. Thirdly, Kuhn argues that when a revolution has occurred, there is a need to rewrite the science textbooks. This rewriting follows a pattern. Thus, the central problem which was solved in order to create the paradigm change is reframed as the only problem that existed prior to the paradigm change. The main scientific players are then described in relation to this problem-solving exercise. Fourthly, through this revisionism, science is presented as a cumulative endeavour whereby incremental improvements in solutions to central problems lead to the paradigm change. In this manner, the subtleties around the scientific revolution become invisible. Kuhn gives examples to support his argument about the importance of historical context in scientific revolutions. This chapter addresses an important criticism of Kuhn's central arguments, namely that scientific revolutions are portrayed as cumulative developments of scientific knowledge, rather than transformational paradigm shifts. Kuhn's response is to characterise the simplistic narratives as examples of historical revisionism, and he emphasises the importance of context in interpreting scientific revolutions.